Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Sharon. I'd like to show you how I upholstered this stool and turned it into this cushy seat from this hard black bench that had been in my kitchen. I was tired of having to sit on these hard stools and so I wanted something softer and I decided to upholster this black bench. It was much cheaper than going out and buying four new ones. So here's what I did to create this look. I went to the Walmart and I bought some upholstery, uh, sturdy upholstery fabric. Went to Joanne Fabrics and bought some cushions. And I also picked up some batting while I was there. Those are the three main items that you'll need. You'll also need something to trim out the chair with and it's totally optional up to you. I went with this um, fake nail heads that I found at Joanne's. I'm going to use my staple gun. Of course I'll use the hammer and I'll also use my uh, DeWalt drill. So off camera I went ahead and took the first stool apart and now I'm just going to lay out my fabric and the batting and get that prepared for me to put the seat, uh, the wood bench on those uh, on the seat. Getting everything centered is important because you want to make sure that you have enough fabric on each side. Um, you can see here that I have a little bit overage on one end and it costs me at the end of it, but it's okay, it's still doable. And then you'll just take your seat bottom and make sure that it is centered in the middle of the green foam. And I left about a half an inch on both sides so that the foam would have um, room when you sit down on it. It wouldn't be too too um it wouldn't be too short on each side so i left a little bit a half an inch of the foam on it here i'm just going to fold over and see how much fabric we have and if we need to trim off now is the time to trim it off because you don't want too much excess fabric it's always best to start with too much than too little and then i'll fold so that i don't have to sew i'm going to fold the fabric over once on the batting and then uh, staple it down that'll give it a nice finish on the bottom side of the chair and we're just going to do a couple of anchor uh, staples here and we'll come along later and tighten the fabric down and put in the remaining staples we're going to do this on this side and then we'll turn it around and do the exact same thing on the other side cutting off any excess that we have and you may have to cut the batting too, just to make sure that you don't have too much fabric. And we'll fold it over and prepare it to staple. Now it may look like it's a little short, but here's where you want to pull it taut so that you don't have a big, a whole lot of excess fabric and that when um, you flip it over, it'll be a nice smooth finish. So we're just going to pull it tight and staple it down like we did the others. And now we have it at the beginning stages. It looks good. Now we're ready to work on the sides. And the sides are a little bit tricky because depending on how you want your corners to be will determine how you'll fold them. I want my corners to be kind of like a present if we're delivering it. So I am going to cut a little bit of the excess out here. And then we're going to fold the corners up and put a staple on them. And that'll have a nice little round corner you can see here make sure you check the sides that it's not leaving too much of a, a crease on one side and um, before you put in your staple and we'll just put in a temporary staple to help hold it until we get everything the way we want it to be and make sure that your fabric is folded down and now we're ready to staple it there and we'll bring the sides up giving us the nice little tuck and folding our fabric over and then pulling it tightly and stapling that down as well. All the while we're looking at the side to make sure that things are pretty even and that we're not going to have any bulges out any place that we don't want. And now I'm just stapling them on because I've got all my corners down and I'm just securing the fabric around it. 
there it is I have this stool complete the corners look good everything is nice and tucked and sound and now I am ready to wrap it in the faux nail heads and I found these at Joann Fabrics I believe they were like $25 for a packet um, maybe five feet packet five foot packet and I used a coupon of course to get them on sale and then I think the whole day was 20% off your total purchase so I roughly I think I paid maybe eight dollars for this packet and they're pretty simple to do you just hammer the nail heads in and you do that all the way around I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the stool and then once you're complete you just put your stool legs back on make sure you get them in the holes good and you can also use the wood glue to help secure it and then you take your screws and just screw them back into place to have your stool completed and there's the final look I did all four stools this way I think they turned out lovely they sit well they feel good and I'm going to scotch guard them so that they'll hold up to stains and be resistant of stains. Why don't you tell me what you think? Leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.